So to kick it off, we are starting with a name that is synonymous with Nashville, Tennessee, and that is Vanderbilt. Currently, Vanderbilt University Medical Center is ranked as the number one hospital in the entire state of Tennessee. Vanderbilt University Medical Center began in 1874 when the School of Medicine, which had been part of the University of Nashville, was incorporated into Vanderbilt University. Today, the Vanderbilt University Medical Center is known for a long list of medical innovations and achievements and is constantly growing and adding facilities to the center. Vanderbilt University Medical Center is a general medical and surgical facility that is not only ranked as the top hospital in Tennessee, but it is also nationally ranked across nine different specialties and 10 different children's specialties. For context, to be nationally ranked in a specialty, a hospital must excel in caring for the sickest, most medically complex patients that you'll encounter. Vanderbilt University Medical Center is nationally ranked in caring for cancer patients, cardiology, heart and vascular surgery, diabetes and endocrinology, ear, nose, and throat, gastroenterology and GI surgery, geriatrics, obstetrics, and gynecology, pulmonology and lung surgery, urology, neonatology, pediatric cancer, pediatric cardi cardiology and heart surgery, uh, PG pediatric diabetes and endocrinology, pediatric gastroenterology and GI surgery, pediatric, pediatric nephrology, pediatric neurology and neurosurgery, pediatric orthopedics, pediatric pulmonology and lung surgery, and pediatric urology. So <laughs> that's a long list of things that they uh, that they're um, acknowledged as being above, um, you know, above the rest. In you know, to be ranked that highly across all those specialties, you really have to have incredible research facilities, phenomenal doctors and surgeons, nurses, uh, staff. I mean, it really takes a lot to achieve all of that. So know that if you do need um, you know, medical care in some sort of instance, or a loved one may need medical care in an instance, uh, Vanderbilt, Me Vanderbilt University Medical Center uh, is very, very well equipped to take care of you or your loved one. The next hospital on our list, folks, is going to be Ascension St. Thomas, and I have a little bit of connection there. My mother actually worked there for more than a decade, uh, so currently, Ascension St. Thomas is going to take the number five spot out of the hos out of hospitals in the entire state of Tennessee and number two in Nashville behind Vanderbilt University Medical Center. So Ascension St. Thomas was opened in Nashville by the Daughters of Charity and officially started receiving patients on April 11th, 1898. Ascension St. Thomas has earned several distinctions from Health Grades, which is a third-party organization that evaluates hospitals and physicians. And in a 2000 and in 2009, excuse me, in 2009, Ascension St. Thomas was actually recognized with a Health Grades Outstanding Patient Experience Award. So they take very good care of the folks who come to them for medical care. Ascension St. Thomas Hospital is a general medical and surgical facility just like Vanderbilt and has also been rated high performing across 13 different adult procedures and conditions, those being leukemia, lymphoma, and myel myeloma, excuse me, myeloma, uh, lung cancer surgery, prostate cancer surgery, abdominal, aortic, aneurysm, uh, repair, heart attacks, aortic valve surgery, heart bypass surgery, heart failure, transcatheter aortic valve replacements, diabetes, strokes, hip and knee replacements, lung and can or excuse me, lung cancer surgery, and prostate cancer surgery. So again, really across the board folks, the folks at Ascension St. Thomas can take care of you pretty much regardless of what your medical need is. I mean, outside of those, uh, outside of those 
things I mentioned, um, you know, you may have to go to a more specialized facility, but Ascension St. Thomas is absolutely incredible and will do a phenomenal job of caring for you or your loved ones. The final hospital on our list today is going to be TriStar Centennial Medical Center. Currently, TriStar Centennial Medical Center is going to rank as the number seven hospital in Tennessee, and it's going to take the number three spot in Nashville, of course, behind both Vanderbilt University Medical Center and Ascension St. Thomas. Currently, TriStar Centennial Medical Center is a part of HCA Healthcare's TriStar Division. And if you want to know more about HCA and what they do in Nashville, uh, we do have a video on HCA Healthcare that I will link at the end of this video for you to check out. So moving on, TriStar Centennial Medical Center is going to be rated high performing in nine different adult procedures and conditions, including leukemia, lymphomas, myelomas, uh, colon cancer surgery, lung cancer surgery, prostate cancer surgery, heart attacks, heart failure, colon cancer surgery, strokes, hip and knee replacements, and lung cancer surgeries. Now folks, of course, I don't wish any of these conditions on anyone. These are all terrible, terrible things to have to go through and experience, but if you or a loved one should end up in a position where you have one of these conditions, these are three incredible options in Nashville, Tennessee that you can go to and know that you're going to be taken care of and you or your loved one are going to be receiving some of the best treatment you could possibly hope for. Folks, Nashville is known for having great healthcare options and these institutions are certainly a testament to that statement. So I hope that this video can be of some value to you and your loved ones. And remember folks, whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or schedule a personalized Zoom call with us so that we can help you make a smooth move here to Nashville, Tennessee. Until next time, I hope to see you around town soon.